Welcome back to your weekly legislative update. I'm Carolyn Hughley, your representative from District 136. This week at the Capitol, the House is preparing to vote on the $25 billion 2018 state budget. Education accounts for over half of the proposed budget, with a combined 51.7% going to pre-K and higher education. Other highlights include a 2% increase for teachers, $31 million proposed to address the growing number of children in foster care, $4.2 million for additional services for seniors, including Meals on Wheels, and a 20% raise for law enforcement. Earlier this week, the House voted on Senate Bill 70, which extends Georgia's hospital provider fee until 2020. The revenue from the provider fee supports rural and safety net hospitals across the state. If the fee expired, Georgia could lose approximately $600 million from funds matched by the federal government that go toward Medicaid and peach care. In exciting news, the aircraft engine maker Pratt & Whitney, which currently employs over 1,200 people, announced on Tuesday their plan to create over 500 new jobs and invest $386 million as they expand their facility in Columbus. The expansion will double Pratt & Whitney's capacity in Columbus over the next five years and will include a new training program for employees in partnership with Columbus Technical College. Stay tuned for more hot-button issues as the session unfolds. Issues like the governor's education reform bill, casino gambling, guns on college campuses, and health care. Thanks to everyone who attended the town hall meeting at the Mildred Terry Library. We had over 100 attendees. Your concerns are important to me, and I want to hear from you. Find me on Facebook or follow me on Twitter. For more information on what's happening under the Gold Dome, you can download my new mobile app, available at Apple App Store or Google Play Store by searching Rep. Carolyn Hughley. For updates on the House Democratic Caucus and information on how to stay involved, go to www.georgiaresist.com. I'm Carolyn Hughley, your representative for District 136.